Video coverage of this year's National FFA Convention is brought to you by Nutrien Ag Solutions in Cozad and Elwood. As National FFA Convention gets underway, we're catching up with one of the local chapters, the Holdridge FFA Chapter, is getting ready to go to National Convention. And joining us now is Mr. Moore and Jet Johnson of the Holdridge FFA Chapter. Um, Jeff, let's start this conversation off with you. You guys have a lot going on at National Convention. Just high level, what goes on for you guys as you prepare for National Convention? Well, on, on my end of it, I, it's a trip for the, the, the students. Some of them, it's the first time trip out of state or uh, to, to a large convention with 60, 65,000 people in attendance is uh, just seeing what FFA is about on the national level, what goes on. Uh, we attend the, the large general sessions with the, with the, the uh, motivational speakers, national officer retiring addresses, and we've been able to, uh, over the years, just be part of that, get kids across stage as receiving our national chapter award or occasionally get a proficiency uh, finalist. And then a couple of years ago, uh, Jet's brother was an was American star farmer. So that's kind of a cool experience. Yeah, most definitely. Well, Jet, let's bring you into this conversation. Your chapter is receiving a national FFA chapter award. Tell us more about this and what it means for your chapter. Uh, it means a lot. We're 16 out of 17 years of getting into the Nebraska top 10 percent. This bases off a lot of our activities. We do farm safety, um, ag in the classroom. Um, there's several more that we do um, to get this award. And we work as hard as we can to get it uh, every year. And it's a goal of ours to try and get it. Yeah. So, Jet, tell us a little bit more about you and what your FFA experiences have looked like so far? Um, my FFA experiences so far have looked um, last year for contests. We did egg sales and CCM, so that's Parley Pro. Um, maybe one step underneath Parley Pro, just get started out. Yeah. And okay. we, we went to state in both of those, egg sales and um, CCM. And last year, uh, I did do the Creed too for another contest. Explain your SAE a little bit. And then for my SAE, we are I've, I'm a family farm. We, I grow up on a family farm. We farm around Holdridge, Nebraska. And that's kind of my SAE. I work for my dad, and I'm trying to get started myself and hopefully have a future in um, the ag industry. Very cool. Well, we look forward to seeing where that takes you. Gentlemen, are there any other things that are important to mention um, about National Convention that we haven't had a chance yet to touch on? Um, I, obviously what we start with that national chapter award and the kids do that, uh, the opening session, uh, with the national officers coming in and the motivational speakers, uh, we also lined up, uh, national FFA has a concert every year. So we try and get tickets to that this year. It's Laney Wilson. So that's a pretty, pretty big act. Um, and then, uh, kids wanted to do the world's toughest rodeo. So that'll be a Friday night activity that, that we'll get to go to as well uh, so it's that we booked in a little tri side trip over to the indianapolis motor speedway i don't know if any of these kids have been there or not so he's something something besides do convention all day in general sessions yeah a chance to experience the city while you're in it very cool yeah. all right well um i know that after convention you guys don't stop actually it probably just gets a little bit busier so what does the holder jeff Bay chapter have coming once national convention wraps up uh, once convention wraps up, we get back and then within a week, we're, we're closing up our chapter fruit sales. So that started here last week. So uh, the kids are hopefully out <laughs> doing a good job with sales of meat and cheese products, the fruit, obviously. And we raise about 350 poinsettias in the greenhouse as well, as long as I keep them wet and watered and happy. <laughs> Very good. Um, then uh, we're kind of getting into contest season. So Jet, a lot of the kids will be prepping for livestock judging or floor culture. And uh, I think I think we're trying to have an ag biotech team this year for our fall CDEs that we held holding Carney at the end of November. So many things going on. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for making time to uh, tell us more about the Holder Jeff and Faye chapter. We appreciate it.